everyone. We're on our way to St. Augustine. Nearly 300 years. The Castillo de San Marcos was actually the 10th fort in St. Augustine's history. The first nine were all made out of wood and all burned down. So after a pirate attack by Robert Searles in 1668, St. Augustine started constructing its first stone fort made of material called cocaine. It was completed in 1695. It was over 300 years old there. That is stop number 17, but if you'd like to see the Castillo de San Marcos, you can actually get off at stop number 6, and it's right across the street there. This trolley here is a motion. That bell there means you got to remain seated until we get to our next stop, stop number 5. For those of you just joining us, my name is Jason. I'll be here conducting this course in the floor here. Now, stop number 5 is going to be for the Pirate Treasure Museum, as well as the Colonial Quarter Experience. Inside the Pirate Treasure Museum, there's over 800 authentic pirate artifacts we've recovered over the years. Including one of only three remaining Jolly Roger flags, and the only authentic pirate treasure chest ever recovered. So we're to our right here, the building of all the skull crossbones, the St. Augustine Pirate Treasure Museum. To our forward right there, we have the colonial quarter experience. So if you want to learn what it was like to live in St. Augustine in the 15th, 16th, and 1700s, this will be the place for you. You can go inside of there and see everything at your own pace. Well, they also do guided tours about it. They'd like to check that out. There's some cannon firing shows and a working black a demonstration here. Also, a Spanish tavern and an English pub inside the colonial border. This right here will be our stop number five. Just wait till you hear that bell before you exit. And only exit to the right side that you left there is a lane of traffic. Remember to back down like you would a ladder. Use those handles. You will give me your turn. stunning the woodwork for the stained glass the ceilings it's beautiful Yes, let me turn around and this is the front door. Beautiful stained glass. Let me back up some more. 
And look up top here. Stained glass windows. So pretty. Beautiful church. So he goes out there. Even these floors are pretty. Big church. Well, you can't come back there. I was wondering what was back there. Confession booth. Is that for the Pope? <laughs> wow. Look at this. In memory. That's like marble, isn't it? Beautiful, this church is erected by Henry Fargo. Oh, wow. That's neat. I'm say my prayers while I'm here. Squeaky floors. Gorgeous piece too. An old heater. Hmm. Now coming to your right, you're going to see that wall. That's called a happy wall. It's made with whole oyster shells. Crushed seashells turned the lime on when the sun baked it. Got a lot of bacteria in it. Now, this wall is built with the enemy of mine. They would climb over it, scratch her knees or elbows by the... It's one of three or four times the size. By the third day, the most excruciating painful death of subdosemia, a blood infection. Now, they did not have antibiotics back then, but they did learn of the amputation. Now, folks, I've had a mess with this. Let me tell you something. It's nothing you want to go through. It is very painful. On the other side, it's called the tapia wall. Real smooth, like you see in the floors of the Spanish houses. I'll show you that on the way out. Now we are going to stop 22, the Fountain of View, where they have the reenactment of the Timucuan native in the village of Savoy, dated back to 3000 BC. 
reenactments of the Millipun encampment of Pedro Menendez. The first mission number in a day was established in 1587 by Spain, and they do have that fountain of youth. Folks, let me tell you something. It's African or Indian? It's Indian, isn't it? Hi, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Are you handsome? That's a male, right? It's a handsome boy. This is Indian stuff. This shit on life support. <laughs> <laughs> on his last <laughs> <laughs>